Hey everybody, welcome to the Red Hat Certified System Administrator, managing layered local storage with Stratus D on RHEL 8. So today we're going to be focusing on the main objective is being able to use Stratus D. So the first thing we want to do is be able to install it. So we're going to use yum install Stratus D and Stratus CLI. I'm going to use a dash Y, so I'll go through all the prompts. Okay, guys, so now that it's downloaded, the next thing we want to do, if it's actually running, so as we can see, it's actually inactive and it's dead. So the way we want to start it will be using system CTL, system control start. Now we can check that is actually up and running. All right, so the next thing we want to do is actually list our block devices. All right, as we can see, we have three of them available to be used. All right, so first thing we want to do is wipe all of them. All right, now that they're all wiped, we can actually start making our first pool. So Stratus pool, create, and then we're going to give it the name. We want to call it pool zero and we want to use this device. All right, so now if we check, we'll see that it had located the memory to pool zero. So let's say you want to add more to the actual pool. You will just use Stratus pool, add data, and then you want to add data to pool zero and you want to call it, or actually not you want to call it, you already call, it's already called pool zero, but that's where you want to allocate more data to. So, and then you're using a new device that you want to add to that. All right, as you can see now, you can see that it's double the space now. So it's at four versus the, it was at two earlier. So next thing we want to do is actually make a file system. And the way we do that is use Stratus FS. So same thing as earlier, pool create, we're going to use FS create. So we're going to do uh, Stratus FS create, and then we're going to give it a um, name, FS1. But before that, we got to actually specify what pool it's in. So it's in pool zero, and we're going to call it FS1. All right, so it might take about a couple of seconds to maybe a minute for it to actually make the file system. All right, so now you can actually check. As you can see, the pool name is pool zero, and there's a file system of FS1. So, and the amount of memory is used actually changes dynamically. So depending if you add more stuff to it, it will actually grow in size. All right, so the next thing we want to do, we want to be able to make a mount point for it. We're going to call it FS1, and now we're going to actually mount it and we're going to mount it to FS1. All right. All right, guys. So now I'm going to actually go into the mount point and we're going to actually add some files in there. The reason we're doing it is because when we back it up, we're going to delete it and see if the data is still there. So we see we have two files in there. There's nothing in there, of course. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna actually make a backup of it using Stratus FS, snapshot. And the snapshot, we're gonna get it from pool zero, FS1, and we're gonna call it FS1 backup. So basically he's saying that we want to make a snapshot from pool zero, the name of the file system of FS1, and we want to name it FS1 backup. So it might take up to a minute for this to actually make the snapshot. All right, uh, it's complete at the moment. So what we can do is actually be able to check it. Now that we can see that we have two file system, FS1, FS1 backup. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to actually exit out of this, or exit out of that actual directory that we were in. And now we're going to unmount it. Okay, so now it's unmounted. So now we're going to actually destroy it. And we're going to destroy file system one, where we had those two files, if you guys remember. And we have to specify which pool is located in. Now, if we check, we see that we only have a backup available. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to mount the backup to the original mount point that we had earlier with the first file system. Okay, now we're going to actually go into that file system again, and we're going to see if our files are still there. And as you can see, our files are still there, file one and files.txt. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make this persistent. If you actually see the block now, you can see our uh, stratosphere, all of our information in there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually list it so we can get the actual information that we need to mount it. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to actually make this persistent. And the way we're going to do this is by going to the F or Vim FS tab. But before that, let's get some more information about it. All right, so this is the device that we're going to be mounting. Okay, so first thing we want to do is actually put the location and then it's going to be mounted to FS1 and it's an XFS file system. So we're going to use defaults X system D dot requires stratus D dot service so basically what this is saying is that when you boot up the computer <clears throat> the system d is going to require the stratus d service all right i spelled defaults incorrectly all right so double check everything everything looks good we're going to write it and quit you can use the mount um, dash a if you don't see anything that means that everything um mounted properly you can also check with mount and then you can grep for fs1 all right as you can see fs1 and you see that it's mounted properly all right so the next thing we want to do um after this is actually persistent so that's great so that means when it boots when you uh, boot off the computer or when it restarts it'll always be there no matter what so the next thing we have to know is how to destroy the file systems. So the way you'll do that is use unmount. All right, so the next thing we're gonna use stratus. And we're gonna use pool. Actually, no, not pool first, but we're gonna do fs first. We're gonna destroy pool zero, or I mean, not, I mean the fs1.backup in pool zero. All right, now that that's destroyed, now we're gonna destroy the pool, very similar destroy pool zero all right and now that we check our pool there's nothing there and we check our fs there's nothing there hey you guys so that's pretty much it so we basically went through installing it um, being able to start it with system ctl we also went through being able to make a pool add data to the pool make a file system back up the snapshot uh, make a mount point and then make it persistent through Etsy tab and then deleting the pool and deleting the file system and that's actually pretty much it but the main thing you have to remember is when you, you are using FS tab you have to use that X system D dot requires equals uh, stratus D dot service that's very important or else is that going to be persistent um, that's pretty much it please like and subscribe and if you want to see more content please let me know below